Welcome back, guys. It's time for us to play some more Dirty Rogue. Where we're gonna slice and dice, people. Hmm. Well, let's see. Let's go do some dungeons. Get some loot. I want that sweet ass loot. Bum, 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 bum. Rare dagger. 117. Better than that one. Need something for it? Thank you. I'll take it. Stay on your guard. Do, 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 do. Uh, Rogue's been pretty fun. It's definitely um, not as easy as Sorceress. Sorceress is too bloody OP. Well, we also just need good gear. Sorceress has pretty good gear. This guy has, like, nothing. Just gotta get him good stuff. Yeah, we just gotta find the right builds and stuff. Uh oh. You guys have the same problem. Uh oh. Yeah, we just need some good gear. Uh, I'm sh assured rogue like barbarian is very, very gear dependent. Like without gear, it's just not gonna be very good. Let's go do some dungeons, yay. Hopefully they fix that bug before launch. That one's kind of annoying. Father, is that No Daddy? No, no! Father no. You're Father I forgive you, Father. Don't worry, Daddy. I'm not dead anymore. It is okay, Daddy. Outer gates. Activate the gate winches. Do we still have winches in modern day? Get Rex, sir. So 
so far, Puncture seems very good. It seems very, very, very powerful. Crew, Topaz. I, I, everyone's gonna play bow ropes. I wanted to try out melee ropes, see how it feels. And we've made it work, it's pretty good. Fury's, Fury seems nice, I like Fury. Diamond. Saber. That saber is less damage. Yeah, I'm like healing like crazy because of the flurry heal. I can't wait till we get some uh, legendary after six. That's gonna make us go very good. Hmm, not too, too bad. Uh, Corellian Plates, let's see. That is movement speed, rank of all imbuement skills, energy cost reduction. That is pretty good. It's actually very good. Yeah, the game's gonna have PvP areas. When you go into them, they're PvP free-for-alls. Die. Die. Everything must die. Is it June yet? Unfortunately, no. Unfortunately, no, but soon, hopefully. With how fast uh, this year is going already, it's gonna be pretty quick. It'll be June before you know it. Straight across. Lapis Ward is that. Um, 
One percent more fire, uh, life on kill, cold damage, physical damage. It's not bad. Let's see. Four percent, two percent. It's better. Five vulnerable damage. Yeah, it places that one. It's pretty good. Okay. So much poison damage. That that bug is still there. So every time this wall appears, it's invisible. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six slots. I don't know. Only six abilities at once seems kind of limiting. I hope they increase it to seven at some point. It'd be nice. Maybe hey, that'd be a nice little uh, tweak. Chat, is Barbarian supposed to suck for Sin Mother or am I just bad? Um, Barbarian is the one class in the beta that doesn't have access to its um, a, its special leveling ability. That you get at 15. Every class gets ability at 15, but it's in the dry steeps and the you can't go there in the beta, so... They're kind of gimped because of that. You would think they would just like give it to players. Like let have all let, have, let all barbarians have it. Just you know, just to test it out, but nope. Thank you, sirs. Channeling shrine. I like that they made the shrines a bit more interesting than the previous games. I like the one that like turns you into like an immortal ball of lightning as well. How are you zooming that far out? I'm playing on PC, so it it may just be different on PC and then if you're playing on console. Also, if you're playing at lower resolution, it might be closer up than if you're playing at a high resolution like 4K. Let's see here. Flurry. Make all enemies vulnerable. Um, crit chance. When you quickly strike a daze enemy, they're knocked down for five seconds. So I can daze them, crit them, daze them again.
Some sturdy pants. What do we get? Intelligence, rank of concealment, dexterity. Nope. No, thank you. Uh, in the beta, you only get to see um, the main story up until the end of Act 1. There's going to be at least five acts because there's five zones. There'll probably be a, a, another one that's like in hell or something. Or possibly heaven. We don't know yet. We're all just guessing. That vulnerable is like massive damage increase. He dead. <laughs> the damage on this little rogue is pretty good at times. Like, when he gets his little stuff off, he is sitting nice with some damage there. Stab victim behind for 170 damage. It's 197. That's pretty good. It would be nice if Shadow Step didn't require a target because it's not really useful for getting out of places like the other one can be. Yeah, it's like this ab this ability right here, this section is supposed to like let you move out of danger. Like dash lets you dash forward. Uh, couch trips let you jump back, but this other one is shadow step, which can help you get out of danger. But if there's no ads to jump to, you can't use it. You just have to like run, I guess, manually, which is kind of uh, sus. It would be nice if I could target, like, the ground and just attack the ground or something with it. So what happens if I do that? If I just go four? Nope. Fortunately, no. Dash is for dashing out of danger for bosses. Whereas um, Shadow Step's more of a jumping on top of something and hitting it hard. Because you don't have enough skill points to have both. Kind of have to use one or the other. Level 19? My friends, they don't have enough skill slots to have both. All right, look at the beta. Beta's been very good so far. This makes me, like, super excited for June because this game is going to be... Chef's kiss. A beauty. Yeah. 
Shadow Imbue is 91 damage. It's not affected by your weapon damage. Explosion damage, 100. Um, enemies take damage by Shadow Beam and take increased non-physical damage from you for 8 seconds. Makes enemies vulnerable. Hmm. Beta ends tomorrow at noon uh, Pacific. Now, the uh, poison is really good for a single target boss DPS because it does 92% um, um, bonus damage from whatever your main damage is. So, but it, and, it, and it can stack on top of itself over and over and over again. So it can be a really big dot. Single target isn't as good with the rogue and with the uh, flurry, but very good at AOE damage though. That damage is pretty good. The healing is pretty good on the flurry though. Let's see, so poison imbuement, maximum energy, 